How's it going, everybody, and welcome to my Let's Play of LEGO Worlds. This is a sandbox-type game released for every system available, and it recently released for the Nintendo Switch, which is what I'll be playing it on. Um, fun fact, I had already recorded this episode, and I listened to it back, and the audio fucking sucked, so... <laughs> I'm redoing everything I did in the first episode, so I lost about 16 minutes of footage. So this is going to be kind of repetitive for me, but that's my only exposure to the game. I don't know much else other than what I had done in the first episode. And you're going to experience that with me. As you can see, I only played a little bit yesterday. Yesterday being the 25th of September, just to date the video. Um, and I'm just going to overwrite it. I really, I really want to overwrite it. Yes. I won't turn off my console, I promise you. Lego Worlds game. I promise you. Boy, this is taking a fair amount of time. Autosave will now use game one. Do not turn. Okay. Alright, so. I am going to play Adventure Mode. Because that is the most fun there is. Actually, I'm, pr I'm probably going to enjoy uh, the sandbox mode, too, once we get there. But I think it's important to play through the adventure to kind of orient ourselves to what this game is, what it does, the different possibilities available. And then we'll t like get creative with the sandbox mode afterwards. That's my plan, anyway. I hope it works out. Look at all the chickens. And me, of course floating through space with nothing but a helmet to my name and a broken rocket ship crashing to the square blocky world that is square blocky world and we are falling hold x okay we are going to uh customize our character first that's first and foremost and i'm going to be astronaut man and I'm going to wear um I like Mac McCloud, but I think cowboy hat is the way to go. Full co I don't want a full costume. Um no. Go back. I just want to wear my hat. Okay. Where the explorer. I like those. I like those hands. I'm digging those pant type things. I don't think I want the pink pants. Or that. Or that. And we're done. I'm looking pretty good. Pretty good. We don't need a player too. Let's land close to our rocket ship. Pirate playground. Pirate playground. Your it first Lego world. So much to discover, but your rocket took a beating. Yes, it did. New gold bricks should fix it right up. Um, what you call it? The uh, the narrator sounds a lot like Tim Curry. I don't know if that's actually him, but. Every time I hear him, I'm like, oh, it's, it's frickin' Tim Curry again. Um, because he has such a distinctive voice, and it's hard not to think that that's him. But I, I don't think it is. Because there, there are certain nuances to Tim Curry's voice that uh, you pick up on once you've watched Rocky Horror Picture Show and pretty much everything else he's been in. So this is our, our tool thing. That does everything. The discovery tool. Um, you use it to, like, the discovery tool. there. I'll let them explain it. Discovery tool to scan and collect new models, outfits, creatures, and vehicles. Once they're in your collection, you can use the <clears> tool <throat> to summon things into your worlds, place them precisely where you want them, or fire them into the sky with wild abandon. Getting to grips with the discovery tool is the first step on your journey to become 
A master builder. Sweet tattoo, dude. So yeah, I'm gonna become a master builder. And uh, these, there are like many quests here to get the uh, the golden bricks, which are important for the progression of the game to discover the new worlds. Now this first world has pretty easy tasks, and I'm hoping to blow by them as quick as possible. So, yeah. Hello, lady. Some pigs and chickens is what I need right here. Savvy. Alright. Alright. Now. Let's, uh, just... You use it to discover th everything. I've discovered a pig. New discovery type unlocked. Okay. And then hopefully you can aim and discover all the other things and then do that and boom. Chicken. 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 Lots of chickens. They make silly noises. Uh, actually, let's discover the other things. Yes, I know. Mysteriously sounding like Tim Curry voice. Alright, um, alright, so that's done. Let us check out what else there is for me to discover. I'll discover that, whatever the heck that is. And discover that. Let's see, like, the entire terrain is kind of, like, interactable in this way. And then, the way I understand it is, um, when you go to build things, you have to pay a certain amount of coinage to unlock it for you to put it on the terrain. So I think the best thing is to discover as much of the different options available as possible for the most creativity available. And that's all I'm really going to say about that. Hello. Captain wants a pirate cock tower, but I can't open the chest to get the plans. Can you help? Heck yeah, homie. Heck yeah. Let's remove that bad boy. Peace out. Girl Scout. Discover that. Not a discovery, it's a treasure chest. But I'll discover the flames. Alright. And then you just open it up. A la Legend of Zelda. Dive in. And da 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 da. The clock tower plans have been discovered. Discovery type unlocked. Brick builds. Alright, and we'll put that right there. Nicely done. Nice setup. And you get a gold brick for doing that. It's real easy, real simple. Hopefully the uh, tasks become a bit more complicated than this. Because... Not that this isn't fun and cool. I, I just want more of a challenge than... Uh, hey, go discover a thing and then bring it back to me. But that's me being greedy. Wow, I flop like an idiot when I fall. Sup, pirate man. You need a pirate throne to make this ship feel like home. And there's the pirate throne. with Next to a campfire and a cannon of sorts. And it's quite a distance away. That's okay. Uh, there's a lot to see here. Let's uh, discover what we can. Get as many pirate things as possible because we could build a pretty strong fortress if we uh discover everything 
We could be a, like a pirate stronghold. A vast ye mateys. Ooh, a treasure chest. I guess that can't be discovered. Stud chest, not a discovery. Don't know what that means. Ooh, I feel like I need to be careful walking along this terrain. Seriously, look at me when I fall. I'm like, idiot. Oh boy. Ooh, ooh, nailed it. Treasure, not a discovery. Pirate punch barrel. I'll discover that though. I wonder how I can get those things open. We'll see what happens after I get the throne. <clears throat> Yeah, when I when I played yesterday, I didn't really explore much. I was like, okay, get the quest done and move on. But now I see that there's there's more to an area than just the things that they lay before you. So I'm going to spend some time discovering all the items that I can. And if I miss items, eh, so be it. Okay. Good. I've got all of those things. I'm pretty impressed with... Uh, see, I've never really played a, like a Lego game before. I played with Legos as a kid, but not like a Lego game. And besides my weird flopping, the graphics and uh, fluidity of movement is pretty nice. Um, however holding the discovery tool and trying to move is not easily accomplished. Okay. Everybody's happy. Gold bricks to next rank. Do 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 do. All the, the That was annoying. There were coins on the ground and I couldn't get it cuz I was ranking up. All right, now let's see if the, these uh, chests can be, oh God, can be opened. If we can learn to walk, that is. Okay. And climb, 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 climb. I discovered those, aha. Stud chest. Ooh. Alright, you punch it. Okay. Alright, you punch the chests. And you get what's inside them. I could do that. Come on. Ooh. I'm like trying to run before I walk. Give me all of that. And then, do, 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 do. Thank you. Ooh, that was cool. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me all of this. I want everything. See, I didn't know that I could interact with things this way too. That's pretty cool. Oh, so you just hit and break things and the coins that you need come out. Well, I'm going to be doing that a heck of a lot more. I guess it's just like objects, not walls or ground. Oh. I wonder if I can uh, discover this. Yes. I want to discover that. Now, there was a pirate ship. Yeah, I want that pirate ship, too. Like, rowboat ship. Not really a pirate ship. This is a pirate ship. 
This is a pirate ship that fell down. Oh, wait. The triple barrel of fun. Yes, give me all of that. Alright. I'm out of her. On to the next world. And here we go. Take the gold bricks. Boom. Three. All three done. Everybody's happy. I'm happy. Let us embark. <clears throat> Without spitting on the microphone, maybe. Uh-huh. Okay. And you'll be able to travel farther afield to bigger worlds with more biomes and a huge <laughs> variety of new discoveries. Sounds good to me. Let's go to Amrakran Deluca 451. Prehistoric peril. No, wait. The other one was Amrakran. Okay, we're going to go to Prehistoric Peril. That'll be the first place. Post uh, Pirate Playground. That was the name of it, right? Yeah, I think so. I like my cowboy hat. It makes me look pretty cool. I don't think it'd be very effective in space, though. Do, 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 do. Teaching pigs how to fly. Hey, wake up, idiot. Telling tales of travelers. Putting goodies in chests. No, we break the chests for the goodies. Backward. What? What was that? Um, what? Ah, uh, whatever. I like the name of my ship. Pug Z. It's the, the, the Pugmobile. Cool. And stick the landing. Prehistoric peril. Yeah, I'd say so. Your rocket's thought bubble indicates how many gold bricks you need until you get to the next reward. All right, we need four. Have a lot of gold bricks on them. Okay. Once you think you've collected as many gold bricks as you can from a world, yeah. Feel free to travel to another one to find more. I'm gonna go gold brick crazy. Ah, the sky's falling in. My mistake. It's one yeah. Meteorites again. You messed up there, homie. Okay. Well, that is as good as place as any to stop for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're going to enjoy this as much as I think I am going to. Um, it seems fun. I mean, the controls could use a little work, but like, that's not why you play games. You play games for kind of the story and the experience of something new and this is new to me hopefully it's new to some of you and yeah we'll just see how it goes uh thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next episode of whatever the heck i make and until then do whatever it is that you do all right goodbye <laughs>